On February 25th, life as you knew it changed. A phone call, a text, or an email informed you that your senior year had abruptly come to a probable end. Goodbyes were left unsaid. Sports seasons were barely started, and the dance floor at prom laid bare. Your story was left unfinished. The graduation you waited 18 years for may not be what you hoped. However, as Shakespeare famously said, what is past is prologue. And your past now sets you up for a story that will undoubtedly be brighter. Sincere congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2020. You have accomplished something remarkable. In the most unprecedented moment of time, you share with every other high school senior class around the world to be the first ever to graduate digitally and individually. I know you didn't ask for this distinction or for a global pandemic, but you were certainly more prepared than most. Your strength is your resilience. You meet and make friends wherever you go. And in many ways, these past months of social distancing and digital learning have just been another in a long series of challenges you have faced, adapted to, and overcome. Good morning. And thank you for inviting me to virtually congratulate you all on this tremendous achievement, a moment you will always remember. This might be a somewhat unconventional way of congratulating a graduating class, your parents and mentors. We are living in, and I think you are achieving great things in pretty unconventional times. To our graduates, today is an opportunity to pause for a moment and recognize your achievements, this milestone, your years of dedication, preparation, and hard work needed to achieve this very important educational goal, the first of many in your adult lives, I'm sure. Your development here has been deeper than others who graduate from high schools around the world this spring. It has extended far beyond the exceptional academic standards you've upheld. As students from many different backgrounds and nationalities, you've benefited from an incredibly valuable experience of being part of a diverse and well-rounded international community. But regardless of the path that brought you here, you are certainly heading toward a bright future. I know this for sure. You share a unique experience that will set you apart from the crowds wherever you go, and I'm excited for the opportunities that your hard work has opened up for you. And as you mark the end of this experience and go on your own ways, 
I would encourage you to stay connected with each other. Don't let go of that special bond you share with classmates, teammates, and friends you've made here. You never know when or where life will bring you together again. And old friends are the best, a lesson I've learned multiple times through my Navy career. So before I leave you to your well-earned celebration, I would ask that whatever you decide or have decided to do next, I implore you to continue to learn and to grow. As citizens of your country and important ambassadors for the world, today is the first day of your next adventure. Congratulations and best of luck to all of you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Class of 2020, you guys are special. It is an honor to join you today to celebrate your accomplishment after years of hard work and studies. The end of a one journey filled with challenges and achievements and the beginning of another one. An important step and transition into the next level of your academic life. With every finish line I cross, I start another race, a race against myself. My achievement on that day helps me set the next goal and so on. Without ambition, there will be no joy. With ambitions, resistance, and consistency, we realize our goals. We challenge ourselves, we excel every day, and work harder to reach an ultimate goal of serving humanity, our countries, and ourselves. Today, we are going through an interesting era and transformation of how we live, study, work, interact, organizing graduations, well, speaking of this, this virtual graduation is an alternative to a tradition to celebrate and mark our achievements. As individuals, as human beings, we are built to be resilient with our ability to adapt and our persistence to move on with life and achieve our goals. In conclusion, I truly wish each and every one of you success in whatever endeavors you choose to pursue and most importantly, Enjoy your journey to be successful and achieve your goals, inshallah. Shukran. Hello, class of 2020. I'm Justin Sibarel, the United States Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's a real pleasure for me to join Vice Admiral Malloy, your teachers, parents, relatives, and friends, in wishing you a very hearty congratulations on this wonderful achievement. With your graduation from the Bahrain School, you're passing a very important milestone in your lives. One which marks your progress toward adulthood and a more independent future. It's a very exciting time and worthy of celebration. Of course, the circumstances we find ourselves in make this year unusual. I'm sorry we aren't marking this uh, important occasion in person. But perhaps you can look at it this way. There can be no question that the class of 2020 will long be remembered. People will be talking about you and how you responded to this very unique time. They'll be talking about your perseverance and your adaptability, your grit and determination in overcoming obstacles. They'll be talking about your empathy and your commitment to your friends, your fellow students, how the class of 2020 responded when handed a really difficult situation, how you adapted and overcame. Challenge and change are the very essence of the human experience. And you've certainly had a head start on that life lesson. Well, I, for one, am incredibly hopeful knowing that you are stepping forward and will soon be making your own contribution to shape the world that emerges after we beat this horrible pandemic. Who better to do so than all of you? You're an incredibly diverse and dynamic cohort. You hail from 16 different countries. You lived an international experience and gained new insights and perspectives from one another. You understand better than most young people how do things can get done in an interconnected world. You're the recipient, uh, you're recipients of multiple accolades, academic and leadership and otherwise. You've engaged and become involved in extracurricular activities, clubs and societies. You've challenged yourselves and learned the value of hard work and determination. Yes, I would say this graduating class has demonstrated that it's poised and ready for the challenges ahead. In addition to congratulating you on your, on your graduation, I'd also like to thank you for representing your wonderful school so well. The Bahrain School has a rich and storied tradition. It's played a vital role in the partnership that the United States enjoys with the people and nation of Bahrain. 
With your graduation today, this is a, for this great school, you're now part of that tradition. You've worked hard to get here. I wish you every success in your coming adventures. Congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2020. Congratulations on completing high school during this unprecedented time. I wish you all success and happiness in this next chapter of your life. Congratulations, Bahrain Class of 2020. We are all so very proud of you. Good luck in all of your future endeavors and Godspeed. I know that it's been a challenge for all of you and you should be so proud of yourselves as I know your parents are and I am. God bless you and good luck to everyone. Class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. Happy graduation, seniors. Way to go. You guys did it. You made it. I'm so proud of you. Sending you my best. Love and hugs. Miss you much. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of you. I can't wait to hear about all the amazing things you do in the next chapter of your life. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've made it. Congratulations, Bahrain School Class of 2020, and best wishes for a bright future. Go out into the world now and make a difference for the good and find your calling. Congratulations. Happy graduation, Class of 2020. We love you. You're going to do great. Congratulations on your graduation and well-deserved success. And best wishes in your next adventure. Everyone has said congratulations, but I leave you with a different thought. From Shakespeare's Hamlet, this above all, to thine own self be true. I just want to say a heartfelt uh, good job and good luck in the rest of your lives. Congratulations and good luck, class of 2020. Congratulations to all of you. I'm so looking forward to seeing this wonderful production and can't wait to see what your future holds. Hey everyone, happy graduation. Thank you for all you've done to make this school a better place. Good luck in your future endeavors. Bye. You made it. We're so proud of you and we're excited to see what you guys will do in the future. So good luck. Felicidades a la clase de 2020. Mucha suerte. Congratulations seniors. Wishing you all the best. Hope you have a great rest of your 2020 year and uh, good luck wherever you're going next. Take care. Senior class of uh, 2020, I just want to let you know that I'm very proud of you. Uh, I wish you best of luck. Felicidades, que lo paséis muy bien y un buen verano. Me alegro por vuestra graduación. Hasta luego. Adios. Congratulations, seniors, on your graduation. Masalama, goodbye. We're going to miss you. All my love. Thank you Bahrain and thank you Bahrain School for the past 27 years. Who's 
broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, beloved parents, family members, friends, teachers, and honored guests. First of all, before I start my speech, I'd like to address the elephant in the room. The coronavirus tragically brought our time together in school to an abrupt end, and I'm sure many of you are suffering from its far-reaching effects, whether it be directly or indirectly. Personally, I remember the day when it happened. It was a Tuesday in dorms when I received the dire news. At first, we were sure the school would only be out for a week or two, but little did we know it would eventually extend into months. We didn't realize it then, but that was one of the last times we would get to spend precious moments with our friends and classmates. Instead of interacting with our mentors and teachers in a traditional classroom setting, our connection with them was relegated to short and awkward virtual classes that left us longing for a return to the status quo. What truly made the situation all the more devastating was a closure began the week of our homecoming. I acknowledge that this ceremony may not be the graduation all of you have expected or desired, but it's essential we maintain a sense of normalcy and a sense of optimism, regardless of the challenges we currently face. So for now, I implore all of you to be optimistic and to look forward to the future rather than lament on the uncertainty of the present. Today, we are here to celebrate the graduation of our senior class of 2020. We are here to congratulate these graduates on their efforts and give them praise for their resilient nature in the times we are currently facing. Our senior class have faced some unique challenges this year. For instance, as I previously mentioned, our homecoming was canceled and delayed time and time again for various reasons, including safety concerns. In addition, we didn't have a prom or senior dinner, and several sports sections and sport trips were canceled due to the virus. Many of you have mentioned that one experience we all looked forward to and worked towards was our senior bonding trip, our last opportunity to, well, bond as classmates. However, due to this virus, this opportunity to bond was also canceled. However, despite these constant setbacks, we have managed to persevere and are now ready to go out in the world and face new challenges. For some, the next challenge will be university, for others, joining the military. Some students may even take a gap year in order to find themselves. Regardless of what their future holds for my classmates, I know that they will be successful in all of their endeavors. Our purpose here today is to celebrate the many accomplishments of the senior class of 2020. We are here to sing our own praises and acknowledge the hard work we endured for several grueling years that brought us to this point. This year's senior class includes some of the most talented, hilarious, creative, and intelligent people you will ever meet. And to be honest, they deserve all of our praise and more. While it's tragic that we could not all be together at the Bahrain National Theater, I have one final message to the class of 2020. Stay positive. No matter the situation, things will always get better. I believe that our time at Bahrain School has given us the skills required to survive whatever obstacle we may face in the future. Our experiences have instilled in us the strength and a sense of courage to face the next change of our lives, and we are confident in our abilities. So to our friends, families, teachers, and loved ones, we would like to express our sincerest gratitude. I am sure I speak for all of us when I say, Thank you all for nurturing us and supporting us when we needed it, and congratulations to us, the class of 2020. <laughs>
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بالأصالة عن نفسي وبالإنابة عن طلاب صف 2020 في بداية كلمتي أحمد الله أولا على سلامتنا جميعا وعلى الرغم من أن وباء كورونا قد أصابنا بصدمة حيث تم إغلاق المدرسة والسكن بشكل مفاجئ ولم يتح لنا الاحتفال بحفل التخرج وأنا متأكد من أن الكثير منكم ما زال يعاني من آثاره السلبية سواء كان بشكل مباشر أو غير مباشر شخصيا أتذكر اليوم الذي حدث فيه كان يوم الثلاثاء في مساكن الطلبة عندما تلقينا تلك الأخبار قيل لنا على أنها لن تستغرق أكثر من أسبوع أو أسبوعين لكنه امتدت في النهاية إلى أشهر لم ندرك ذلك في حينه لكن تلك كانت آخر مرة التقينا مع الزملاء والأصدقاء ومما جعل الأمر أكثر ألما بالنفس فقد تم الإغلاق قبل أسبوع من حفل المدرسة ورغم أننا قد التقينا عبر تواجدنا بتلك الفصول الافتراضية لكننا نفتقد للتواصل الفعلي ولتواجدنا داخل الصف المدرسي أعترف أن حفل تخرجنا هذا قد لا يكون التخرج الذي كنا نحلم به جميعا ولكن من الضروري أن نفواصل حياتنا بصورة طبيعية ونحافظ على تفاؤلنا على الرغم من, من, من التحديات التي نواجهها حاليا أرجو أن تتحلوا بروح الأمل والتفاؤل جميعا فلا داعي للقلق أو الخوف كلمتنا اليوم للاحتفال بتخرج دفعتنا لعام 2020 نحن هنا لنهنئ هؤلاء الخريجين على جهودهم ونبارك لهم ونشكرهم على طبيعتهم المرنة في الأوقات الحرجة التي نمر بها حاليا واجهت هذه الدفعة بعض التحديات هذا العام كما ذكرت سابقا فقد سرق منا حفلنا السنوي والذي تأخر مرارا وتكرارا بسبب مخاوف تتعلق بالسلامة ولم نستطع أن نقيم حفلتنا الموسيقية أو مأدبة العشاء الخاص بالخريجين وعائلاتهم بالإضافة إلى ذلك تم إلغاء العديد من الرحلات والمواسم الرياضية نتيجة لانتشار هذا الوباء ومن المؤلم حقا هو أننا لم نتمكن حتى من القيام برحلة تضم الخريجين ومع ذلك على الرغم من التحديات المستمرة فإني وزملائي نؤكد لكم بأننا ما زلنا قادرين على المثابرة ومستعدين الآن للخروج إلى العالم ومواجهة تحديات جديدة سننجح جميعا إن شاء الله وأنا متأكد من ذلك سواء كان التحدي القبول بالجامعة أو الانخراط في الجيش أو الانتظار للتحديد المستقبل الجامعي هدفنا اليوم هو الاحتفال بالإنجازات العديدة لخريجي هذا العام 2020 نحن هنا لنثني على جهودهم ونقر بالعمل الشاق الذي تحملوه لعدة سنوات مرهقة أوصلهم إلى هذا النجاح الباهر وعلى الرغم من ما نمر به لكني على ثقة بما تملكه هذه الدفعة من روح إبداعية مرحة وذكاء متقد ولأنهم مثابرون فهم يستحقون الثناء والشكر ما يحس بقلبي أننا لن نتمكن من الحضور والوقوف جميعا بمسرح البحرين الوطني للاحتفال بحفل تخرجنا كلمة الأخيرة إلى خريجي 2020 كونوا إيجابيين دائما بغض النظر عن الصعوبات ستتحسن الأمور بإذن الله أعتقد أن دراستنا في مدرسة البحرين قد أعطتنا المهارات المطلوبة للتغلب على العقابات التي قد نواجهها في المستقبل فقد تعلمنا من تجاربنا أن نبقى شامخين قادرين على تخطي الصعاب مواجهة كافة التحديات لأصدقائنا وعائلاتنا ومعلمينا وأحبائنا نود أن نعرب لكم عن خالص شكرنا وامتناننا شكرا لكم جميعا على رعايتنا ودعمنا دائما تبتم بخير جميعا 
وبارك علينا تخرجنا لعام 2020 والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Family, Friends, and Seniors, welcome to the Bahrain Middle High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. The Bahrain School class of 2020 has endured some unique challenges this year, and we are proud to be here this evening to celebrate their accomplishments. Tonight, their dreams will be finally realized with the conclusion of 12 years of schooling. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Bahrain Middle High School, we would collectively like to congratulate all seniors and their parents on this momentous occasion. For 52 years, Bahrain School has symbolized the unique collaborative relationship that has been fostered with the government of Bahrain and the U.S. military. We feel honored to have Captain Greg Smith, NSA Bahrain Base Commander, as our keynote speaker tonight. I am proud to introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the graduating class of 2020. These outstanding and well-rounded students embody an impressive breadth of knowledge and pride of personal character. These students have demonstrated a strong dedication to their academics and responsibility to the Bahrain School community all while remaining committed to their extracurricular activities and outside obligations. This year, I am proud to announce our valedictorian, Alec Wirunsadera, and our salutatorian, Haley Rowe. At this time, we will hear remarks from the salutatorian who will be followed by the valedictorian. On March 11, 2011, there was a massive earthquake off the coast of Japan. It caused power outages across the country, a massive tsunami that decimated cities, and set in motion the events that would later cause the Fukushima meltdown. Where I lived, we were all safe from the immediate effects of the natural disaster, but we still lost power for a week, and in the following weeks, so many families at the local base evacuated for fear of an aftershock. I've been thinking a lot about March 11th this semester. It's not really a surprise why. In retrospect, March 11 marked a, the end of a lot of things for me. There were friends I never saw again, places I couldn't go anymore because they'd been destroyed. And for a long time, everything felt like it would never go back to normal. Today, I'm gonna talk about endings. The school year's over. Many of us are never going to come back to Bahrain school or even to Bahrain. Friends are going to move to opposite sides of the globe, and even though we can all still keep in touch, we're also going to move on. None of us will ever be high schoolers again, and even though I doubt anyone is saddened by that fact, it's still the end of an era. Now that we're graduating, some things will permanently be in our pasts. After March 11, there was a nationwide effort geared towards rebuilding the nation and aiding people affected by the earthquake and tsunami. Out of all of the support Sendai efforts that I remember, one stands out the most, folding paper cranes. In Japan, there's a folk legend where if you fold 1,000 paper cranes, you'll get a wish that will come true. My sister and I folded hundreds of paper cranes as a part of the movement. And across Japan, thousands of cranes were made in support of Sendai and all the others whose lives had been destroyed by March 11. This image behind me is just one arrangement of some of the cranes that were donated. Togetherness, that's what grew out of the March 11 tragedy. Communities came together, families and friendships became stronger, and throughout the following months, I never felt like no one was there for me. This semester's been pretty similar. Classmates who I'd never really spoken to were reaching out to me for help and support, and I found myself doing the same. This year, I've spent more time hanging out with my friends, talking after school and then on video chat, than any other year of high school. Senior year is almost done now, but it's not all gone. You see, after the endings of March 11, there came something we called the new normal. Aftershocks lasted for years, but we stopped minding them. Tsunami and earthquake drills increased in frequency, but 
so did donations of clothing, money, and food to local relief efforts. I never saw some of my classmates again, but those of us who stayed in Japan were brought closer by the aftermath of the natural disaster. When I think about the endings that this year has brought, the endings that graduation is slowly forcing us all to confront, I find myself thinking about this new normal. For some of us, the new normal is going to college. For others, it's going to a career, joining the military, or taking some time off. It's easy to look at the end of high school as the beginning of the next phase in our lives, but for most of us, our new normals aren't complete restarts, they're just change. Back in Misawa, very few things were completely gone, but most things change. After we graduate, Bahrain school isn't going to vanish off the face of the earth, and neither are our friends and classmates and teachers, but the relationships we have to all those things are going to change. The world we used to live in, the people we used to be, are gone. And that's just how time passes. Not that the last few months have made it any easier to say goodbye. This speech is part of that for me, saying goodbye to the old normal. I hope that each of you has had the chance to say goodbye too. And may you each have someone to share your new normal with. Good luck. Good evening, class of 2020. Esteemed guests, parents, and faculty, today is a day we can celebrate because we never let a growing pandemic destroy our solidarity. Firstly, it is an honor to be here as one of this year's top students. I know amid these unprecedented circumstances, a proper graduation seemed unfeasible. However, with the assistance of Ms. Herrera, Mr. Dinkler, and others, we accomplished a virtual graduation that encompasses our friendships, lasting memories, and final moments before the school closure. To begin, I want to address the abrupt ending to our senior year and how this lack of personal closure affected us. As I reminisce my memories of senior year, I am transported back to the day it all ended, 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday, February 25th. I was in a car with my friends going back to Saudi from the dorm. Little did I realize that this was the last time I would see their faces. I remember some students celebrating the fact that they would not have to go back to school, but I don't think they realized that it would last for three months. Although I can't imagine how the rest of my classmates coped with the school closure, I can say that it is not easy to stay isolated from friends. Losing human interaction means we lose the part of ourselves that thrives off of the need for friendships, love, and support. However, despite all the ordeals we faced, the class of 2020 has persevered and we are ready to begin the next chapter of our lives. Now I cannot attest for everybody, but I can say that most of us have kept up with online work from our teachers. I know that online learning is not for everybody, but any form of education, no matter how small, should never be taken for granted. And I would like to think that we have been diligent and respectful towards the education we received. Without a doubt, this would not be possible without the commitment of our teachers. I would personally like to thank and take this moment to thank my teachers Ms. Harris, Ms. Cornett, Mr. Lay, Mr. Smith, Ms. Kowaja, Mr. Furrow, and Ms. Overmite, who has sadly left our school. Without you, I would not have the confidence to be here today. Ms. Harris, where do I begin with you? I have known you for three years and your inherent value will never be forgotten. I remember in the beginning of the year, you were coughing like crazy because of the poor air quality in Bahrain. Even when you could have taken a sick day, you were selfless and brave to stay and teach us. That, my friends, is not magic or fate. That is commitment and dedication, something everyone should have. Miss Cornette, I have only known you for one year, but in that one year, 
I learned a lot about you. Even when I had to do my chemistry experiment for IB at 6.30 a.m. in the morning, which was very grueling, you were always there to help me. Miss Obermite, you have taught me how to be a good writer and appreciate literature, which are skills that have made me into the person I am today. Although you left us to take care of your mother, I will not forget the passion and commitment you put into teaching. As my message to the class of 2020, I want you all to remember that you have a story to tell. Although we all have unique stories, this virtual graduation is the chapter we can all share. As we enter the adult world, which is often very cutthroat and competitive, it is easy to lose sight of your story and appease an ideal societal image. The best way someone can dismiss you is to package and label you with your ranking, stats, race, gender, sexuality, and social class. But at the end of the day, your story is something you have that is yours and no one can take that away from you. Your story is your family, your relatives, your hard work, your friends, your passion, your commitment, and most importantly, your humility. As the class of 2020, we will try our best to navigate the world as adults. Although I can't see the future for all of us, I do know that to be successful, we cannot let meaningless distractions hinder our software. Congratulations, class of 2020. It was an honor to be here and may you all have a prosperous life and redefine what it means to be successful. Thank you. Captain Smith hails from Parkville, Maryland and graduated with distinction from the United States Naval Academy with the class of 1997. Captain Smith was designated a Naval Flight Officer or NFO at Randolph Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas in April 1999. After initial training in the P-3C Orion, Captain Smith reported to Patrol Squadron 40 NAS Whidbey Island, Washington. He deployed with the Fighting Marlins to Bahrain, Diego Garcia, Japan, the Philippines, Oman, and Qatar. In November 2002, Captain Smith reported to Patrol Squadron 30 NES, Jacksonville, Florida, as a Fleet Replacement Instructor, NFO. He completed his department head tour with the Patrol Squadron 26 Tridents at NAS Brunswick, Maine, where he served as Operations Officer uh, in support of Team Trident's multi-site deployment to Comalapa, El Salvador, Siganella, Sicily, Camp Lemonier, Djibouti, and the Seychelles. In March 2013, Captain Smith reported as Executive Officer Patrol Squadron 26 in Jacksonville, Florida, and deployed to Kadena, Japan in support of 7th Fleet operations. He assumed command of the Tridents in April 2014, and led them through a tri-site deployment to Sheikh Issa Air Base in Bahrain, Anchor Lake Air Base in Turkey, and Comalapa, El Salvador in support of operations in Parent Resolve and Martillo. During his tour, the Tridents twice won the Atlantic Fleet Battle Efficiency Award. Captain Smith's staff tours include duty as Flag Secretary to Commander, Carrier Strike Group 5, embarked aboard the USS Kitty Hawk floor deployed in Yokosuka, Japan, Pakistan and Afghanistan counter-narcotics policy officer in the office of the Secretary of Defense Policy, and Naval Strategist on the staff of the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Operations, Plans, and Strategy. Captain Smith earned a Master of Arts degree in International Relations from the University of Maryland at College Park in 1998. He graduated with distinction from the College of Naval Command and Staff with a Master of Arts degree in National Security and Strategic Studies in 2008. 
He also served as the Federal Executive Fellow at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory from 2015 to 2016. Captain Smith's awards include the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, the Meritorious Service Medal, Air Medal, Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal, the Joint Service and Achievement Medal, or Joint Service Achievement Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, and various campaign and unit awards. Captain Smith is married to his wife, Jen, and has four daughters, Reese, Mary, Riley, and Madeline. Reese and Mary are both uh, current students at Bahrain School, while Riley and Madeline are at university. Now, it is our great honor to welcome Captain Smith as our commencement speaker tonight. Good evening, parents, teachers, distinguished guests, and good evening, Bahrain School graduating class of 2020. I'm honored to be invited to participate in this very important day. Although I'd rather be speaking to you in person, to be able to shake your hand and convey the congratulations that you deserve in the traditional way, I still feel blessed to be able to record this commencement message for you. After all, the virtual format of this commencement ceremony in no way diminishes its significance or your great accomplishments. Today I want to talk to you about a very simple question. Who do you want to be when you grow up? But first I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, Principal Shauna Seawright and Assistant Principal Angelo Barcinas for your invitation to speak here and for your tireless efforts on behalf of this graduating class and all the students at Bahrain Middle High School. Thank you, Ms. Meg Herrera and Mr. Josh Dinkler for coordinating this event. You demonstrated the imagination, perseverance, and compassion that are the hallmarks of all the best role models for our children. I also want to thank Mr. Mohammed Al Khatib chairman of the Bahrain International School Association and all the BISA members, as well as the Department of Defense Education Activity for supporting this phenomenally unique education opportunity for American, Bahraini, and international students from 16 nations. There's no other high school experience quite like this one. And I trust that this virtual commencement ceremony will capture the impressive merger of so many cultures in celebrating the singular accomplishment of our graduates. I do not want to omit anyone deserving of appreciation for their contributions to the education of these young adults or to those who made this event possible. So please just let me thank all the teachers and staff of the Bahrain School. And grads, don't forget to thank your parents for their support. Finally, I want to thank Ambassador Justin Sibiril, Vice Admiral Jim Malloy, and Mr. Thomas Brady for their contributions to this virtual event. Now back to my question for the graduating class. Who do you want to be? Traditionally, a graduation celebration is called a commencement ceremony, but you know what commencement means. It was probably on your SATs. Commencement means beginning, and to commence something means to start it. So if this celebration is the end of high school, why would we call the graduation ceremony a commencement? I'll offer that this ceremony is appropriately called a commencement because it represents the beginning of the life that you will choose and pave for yourself. Now, for many of you, your parents are not really pushing you out of the nest and cutting you off, but you will certainly be making a lot more decisions for yourself and living with those consequences of those decisions. So at this commencement, it's a good idea to ask yourself, who do I want to be in this life? Regardless of where you're going next, what you day, do from this day forward can be far more important than what you've done to date. Now, for those of you who've worked hard to be here today, yours was not wasted effort. I'm confident that those character traits that enabled you to overcome challenges and achieve new heights will serve you well in the future. But for each of you, this day marks a commencement. What you do with the rest of your life and whether or not you are successful depends more on who you want to be and what you think about and expect of yourself than you may realize. I want to tell you a story about Thomas Alva Edison. Best known for inventing the light bulb, he actually had more than a thousand patents in his lifetime. When Thomas Edison was a small child, perhaps before he could read, he was sent home from school with a note for his mother. He dutifully delivered it, and his mother, with tears in her eyes, read it aloud to him. Your son is a genius. This school is too small for him and doesn't have enough good teachers for training him. 
Please teach him yourself. So she did. Decades later, after Edison had firmly established himself as the world's greatest inventor, his mother passed away. One day, Thomas Edison was looking through old family things and he came across that note from his teacher. He read, your son is addled, which means mentally ill. That word probably wasn't on your SATs. The note continued, we won't let him come to school anymore. Remembering what his mother had read to him all those years ago brought tears to Thomas Edison's eyes. And he wrote later that night in his diary, Thomas Alva Edison was an adult child that by a hero mother became the genius of the century. Your future is not determined by what you've done to this point as much as what you will do from this day forward. We should certainly be thankful for those encouraging teachers or parents like Thomas Edison's mother but your ability to live a meaningful and successful life is not determined by others' assessments, and this commencement is a new beginning for each of you graduates. This is especially true considering the unique experience you've had here at the Bahrain School and the tools that it has given you that can be used for the rest of your life. The Bahrain School is more than just an international school. It is a symbol of unity and partnership between the United States and the Kingdom of Bahrain. It provided you a solid academic foundation, and it also taught you how to assimilate with those who are different from you, and how to build relationships, and close ones at that, with those from other cultures. If every adult had mastered these skills, this world would probably be a much different and better place. But I'm not here to give you delusions of grandeur, to discuss a pie-in-the-sky utopia or a future full of wealth and happiness that is ripe for the picking. I want you also to know that life is a four-letter word, that it's not all roses and sunshine and lemonade. Life also comes with its share of thorns and sunburn and lemons. This should not scare or intimidate you, but I think you, we would do you a disservice if we did not prepare you for or at least acknowledge that reality. After all, we are all living through a global pandemic, not the first of our lifetimes, but certainly the most impactful on our daily lives. COVID-19 has spread across the globe and it has affected your homecoming, your senior sports seasons, your spring break plans and your schooling, your commencement ceremony and your lives. I do wanna to pause to express my sincere condolences to all of those who have lost loved ones to this terrible disease. Please join me in a moment of silence for all those who have been lost. But in the midst of this pandemic, here you are, Bahrain School graduates. The pandemic has been disruptive, but it certainly is not the end of the world. And for most of you, it will not be the worst thing that you experience in your life. Let it be a reminder that life will bring unexpected challenges and that we can adapt, improvise, and overcome. When we learn lessons from these experiences, like your unique education and your experience of COVID-19 pandemic, we build character those innate attributes that determine who we really are and who we will become. You see, you do not have to become the inventor of the century to be successful in life. Success has many definitions, and I can tell you for certain that most of those definitions are wrong. The Thomas Edisons of this world are few and far between. Ralph Waldo Emerson provides a better definition of success when he said, to laugh often and much to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Emerson is describing those smaller accomplishments that come from living a life of character, one dedicated to doing good for others and for society. This is why I'd like to encourage you as you commence this great journey that we call life to think about who you want to be in this world. As a child, you were probably asked, and maybe your parents still have the artwork from first or second grade, what do you want to be when you grow up? But who do you want to be when you grow up is a much more important question. It asks about what character traits do you want to exhibit in this life? 
And when you answer that question, you recreate a new definition of success. When I ask, who do you want to be? I'm not really concerned with what you study next or where you work in the future. I'm asking about your character, the type of man or woman you will become. And that is actually entirely up to you. It has little to do with your grades or about what others think of your potential. More important than your dreams about what you want to be or do in this world are the dreams about who you will become. Economic opportunity and recession, sunny days and terrible storms, good health and global pandemics await all of us. Regardless of whether you complete the schoolwork or land the job that you've always wanted, who you are will be more important than what you are. Your character, not your career, is also what you control. And your character determines how you will respond when life's next big challenge, the next COVID-19, confronts you. This is why Martin Luther King dreamed that his children would be judged by the content of their character. Because unlike race, people can control their character. Focusing on who you want to be rather than what you want to be will help you to develop the good moral character that leads to true greatness and real success. By all means, go after your dreams, but don't define your success with positions or titles. Don't seek to be a naval officer, seek to be a leader. Don't seek to be a doctor, but to care for others or to aid those who are suffering. You never know where life will take you or what careers you will pursue. Yes, most of us end up having more than one. But be deliberate about the type of person you want to be rather than the position you will hold. Ask and answer the question, who do I want to be? Your identity is so much more than a title anyway. When you focus on who you want to be rather than what you want to be, life becomes more about what you will do for others than for yourself. It's more about what you see when you truly look yourself in the eye rather than what others see. It's more about developing character than achieving what society tells you is success. I leave you with one of my favorite poems written by Kent M. Keith and immortalized on the wall of Mother Teresa's children's home in Calcutta, India. People are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you've got anyway. You see, in the final analysis is between you and your God. It was never between you and them anyway. So as you commence your life as a Bahrain school graduate, you may very well become the next Thomas Alva Edison, Ralph Waldo Emerson, or Martin Luther King. You may become a doctor, an entrepreneur, a military officer. But do not focus on what you want to be. Focus on who you want to be. As you move on from here, do not neglect the one aspect of your future that you can truly control, the development of your character. So who do you want to be when you grow up? Thank you all very much for li listening, and congratulations, Bahrain School Class of 2020. Distinguished guests, faculty, parents, students, relatives, friends, and most importantly, the members of class of 2020. There are a few statistics that I would like to share with the audience about this class. There are 63 members in the class of 2020, 31 young women and 32 young men. The class of 2020 represents 16 different nations and as far as longevity is concerned, six students were born in Bahrain. One student has attended Bahrain school since kindergarten, six started in ninth grade, and two came to us for their senior year. This year, we also have the largest population of dormies at 28. That's 45% of our senior class who are in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia right now. 
This year's class has many academic distinctions as well. 11 of our students are earning Dodea's Honors Diploma. 13 of our seniors are earning the President's Award for Educational Excellence. As far as some of the graduates' future plans, four will enlist in the military, seven plan to attend a two-year college, 48 plan to attend a four-year college. And while we here at Bahrain School are sad to see these students matriculate, or like I like to say, Falcons leaving the nest, we are so proud of their accomplishments and we are excited for their future successes. Without further ado, would our graduation sponsor, Ms. Herrera, please come to call out the names and award the diplomas. Studying Informational Technology and International Business at Taylor's University in Malaysia, Tasneem Abdukher. Mama, Ava, I finally did it. I'm graduating. I know I don't say as often, but thank you for being my biggest support, showering me with love, and for showing me what hard work looks like. Thank you for not only helping me to grow to become a better person, but also as a good daughter. To my teachers, thank you for challenging me and guiding me to become the best student I can be. And finally, to my friends, thank you for the, all the laughter and the good times we have together. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Studying molecular biology at the University of Calgary, Ghana Abdallah. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for everything you have done for me. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Thank you for always supporting me and having my back with everything I do. I love you guys and appreciate all the time and effort you have invested in me. I'm so proud to call you guys my parents. You guys are my role model. I love you guys. Studying medicine at the Royal College of Surgeons Ireland in Bahrain, Ahmed Abed. First and foremost, I have to thank my father and mother. Without you guys, I would not be where I am today. Both of you instilled in me the importance of education, and that is the best gift that you have ever given me. Thank you to my siblings for reading my sixth grade papers, even though mom forced you guys. And thank you for being my IB mentors, and most importantly, lifelong friends. Finally, to my family watching across the globe from Palestine to New York, I hope that I have made you guys proud and continue to uphold our family name. Studying Human Rights and Equity Studies at York University in Ontario, Canada, Hania Salman Ahmed. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for being the biggest supporters of my life and for all your hard work and dedication to move us from Canada to Saudi to bring me and my siblings the best life possible. Thank you to my friends for being the best people I have. Thank you to my Rockwell family for becoming my second family and for all the memories and the laughs together. I'm so sorry we cannot say our last goodbyes, but I hope you guys are successful in life and I love you guys and I hope to see you guys soon. Studying Supply Chain Management at the University of Houston, Jad Akkad. Through all my high school journey, I've been so lucky and thankful for everyone who have supported me. Firstly, I want to thank my mom and dad for getting me to this point and being a great support system. Secondly, I want to thank my brothers for always giving me advice and loving me unconditionally. Lastly, I want to thank my friends who have helped me along the way and have made my senior year unforgettable. Thank you. Attending Oxford University, Ahmed Mansour Al-Ali. I'd like to thank my parents for the value they have instilled in me, as well as their efforts in caring for me and supporting me. I am particularly grateful for seeing the opportunity to study at a substantial college and obtaining the vast potential for a bright, successful career. I would not be who I am today without my parents' commitment and support. Attending college in Boston, Fahed Walid Al Alawi. I'd like to thank my parents for keeping me on track throughout all my years, and my sister Zain for helping me throughout everything, and my brother Khalid. Lastly, I'd like to thank all my friends for all the good time. Taking a gap year to pursue his Olympic career in triathlon, Sadiq Ghalib Al Mahmoud. Mama, alhamdulillah, I did it. Thank you for being the best mother I could have ever asked for, and everything you do for me, and for always supporting me in everything I do. Baba, thank you for being the role model I strive to become, and I hope to be half the man you were one day. Safiya, Anisa, and Ziyad, thank you for always being there for me and having my back. Attending the University of Westminster in London, Khalid Farmer Al Shatter. I'd like to thank my parents for all the love and support they've given me, my siblings for always being there for me, and finally my friends for all the great memories. Thank you. Entering the medical field, Casey Nicole Alvarez. 
Thank you for being such wonderful and supportive parents. These last few years have been great and I thank you for everything. You've changed my life for the better and like I've said before, you may not have been here in the beginning, but you're here in the end and every day after and I thank you for that. And thank you to all of my teachers who have helped me along this way. And a special thank you to Mrs. Herrera, Ms. Harris, Ms. Bagley, and Ms. O. Thank you. Studying computer science at the University of Bristol, Hatem Amin. Thank you, Mama and Baba, for everything you've done for me. You've been incredibly supportive, and I love you guys. And next, my friends, I could not survive this year without you. I love you all. And of course, my teachers, who always made sure that I was on top of my work. I'm gonna miss you guys. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm really gonna miss dorms and school and Bahrain school a lot. Goodbye. Attending the University of British Columbia, Nejdet Anwar. I'd like to take this time to thank my parents for their unconditional support. Dad, for teaching me hard work, perseverance. And mom for teaching me compassion, commitment, and how to use a microwave when I was five. And with that, I feel ready to start my college journey. And to all my friends, thank you for the amazing memory, and congratulations, class of 2020. Attending university in the United States, Faisal Oda. Thank you, Mama, Baba, Heba, Teta, and my siblings for helping me throughout high school and loving me and supporting me. And also thank you to my friends for making high school very enjoyable. Joining the United States Navy as a linguist, Jackie Bartholomew. I would like to start by thanking my mom and dad for always encouraging and supporting me throughout my life. Thank you for always making time for me, loving me unconditionally, and being the best parents I could have ever asked for. Thank you to my little sister Elizabeth and my little brother Joshua for always being my number one fans. Thank you to Miss Gunn and my friends for always being there for me through the good and the bad days. And thank you to my teachers for always supporting and looking out for me. I couldn't have done this without you. Attending the American University of Paris, Cara Booker. Throughout my life, I've been incredibly gifted to have an amazing support system of friends, family, and teachers. First, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for pushing me to be the best I can be, even when I felt like giving up and loving me constantly. My cousins for helping me through the rough times and always putting a smile on my face. And lastly, my friends. Thank you for making senior year the greatest year it could have possibly been and gifting me with great memories. Thank you all and I appreciate you. Studying psychology at the University of Cape Town, Charlie, Reese, Kimberly, Davids. I am very grateful for what I have accomplished this year. I would like to thank my family and my friends for always supporting me in what I did. I would like to thank God for helping me overcome my obstacles this year. Love y'all, miss y'all, and I know you'll miss me. Studying mechanical engineering at the University of Texas, San Antonio, Johan de Grief. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Thank you, Kata and Mia. Everything that you guys have done for me has put me into the place that I am today, and I couldn't imagine being in a better position physically and mentally because of you guys. You guys have done everything for me, and coming to Bahrain was such an amazing opportunity that I would not have changed it for anything in the world now. Les amo con toda mi vida, and gracias por todo. Attending University College Dublin, Salman Dewani. I'd just like to thank my family for sticking with me uh, through these few years, uh, these last few years of school. It's been difficult, it's been hard, it's been tough, uh, but in the end I'm really glad to have gone through it and I'm really glad to have experienced it. Uh, seriously, thank you. Studying finance in the honors program at the University of Tampa, Mark Elkuri. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to my mom, my dad and my sister for helping me get through high school and especially IB. You guys showed me a lot of love and support, which I really appreciate. And without you guys, I wouldn't have been the man I am today. I would also like to thank my friends for making my high school experience a memorable one. Thank you. Attending Ryerson University in Toronto, Canada, Ziad Mahmoud El Zayat. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me uh, whenever I needed them. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, from my older brother Ahmed for being a constant role model and knowing that he's got my back whenever I needed him 
Uh, also, last but not least, my little sister Lina for always being there for me. And uh, definitely my friends uh, for making high school such a memorable um, time and experience in my life. Attending the University of Chester, Nicole Froneman Harbour. I would like to thank my parents who have encouraged me and helped me through the most stressful two years I've ever had. I would also like to thank Miriam, Iman, Alec and Ahmed for letting me join their awesome friend group and keeping up with my craziness during the IB times. I'm going to miss my IB family so much, I don't know what I would do without you guys. Thank you to everyone. Joining the United States Navy, Mahari Fussell. I want to thank Alaheem, my loving mother and amazing father for the hard work. Their advice is more valuable than gold or a thousand pieces of silver. Even in the times when I didn't want their advice, they fought to help me listen and understand. I want to thank them for their advice and wisdom with my diploma. Studying sports science and health and welfare at Sola Okinawa Health and Medical Engineering College, Natsumi Gibbo. I'd like to say thank you to my parents, teachers, and counselors of our current school, especially my best and only mentor, Ms. Schmitz. Thank you so much for supporting me for almost two and a half years. I appreciate all of your encouragement, guidance, and the compliments that I received, which helped me throughout the year until today. I am grateful that I had you as my teachers and I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done. Attending Alderson Broadus University on an academic and soccer scholarship, Lucas Gunn. I would like to thank my friends who have made this journey in high school so much fun. Without you guys, this would have been difficult. I also want to thank my parents and my family for believing in me and standing next to me since day one of this journey. I also want to say thank you to the staff and teachers at Bahrain School for providing me with a sound and safe environment for me to learn and grow. Much love to you all and take care. Attending university in Turkey, Iman Hamani. I want to thank my parents for the sacrifices they've made to get me here. I want to also thank them for their endless love and support for my last years of high school. I also want to thank the teachers for their encouragement and their constant support, even through these difficult times of 2020. Lastly, I want to thank my friends for making my 2020 year a memorable one. Thank you guys. Attending university in Turkey, Maryam Hamani. I'd first like to thank my parents. I feel so blessed and honored to have their constant support over the past four years. Thank you for instilling you such a passion for learning and the ability to achieve all my goals and dreams. I'll never forget the values you have passed down to me, particularly honesty and perseverance. I would also like to extend a thank you to all my teachers and friends for making this such a memorable year. Studying in the Honors Program for Accounting and Financial Management at the University of Waterloo, Afraz Hamad. I would like to thank my mom and dad. Without your love and support during these last four years, I would not be where I am today. Thank you for always being there for me and for everything you have done for me. To my sisters, thank you for being there for my highs and lows and for always putting a smile on my face. Thank you for being the best sisters I could ever ask for. And to my friends, thank you for being there for, the, for these last two years. You guys have honestly made them some of the best years of my life. Thank you for the amazing memories. Attending the University of Calgary, Aliyah Hughes. Thank you to all the people that kept me laughing throughout my final years in high school and for letting me lean on their shoulders when I needed them. Thank you Brent and Hiromi for not giving up on their stubborn moody teenage daughter. Thank you Kayla and Hannah for supporting me despite my middle child syndrome. It's been a heck of a ride, but I hope the future is nothing but bright. Attending the University of Charleston, Michaela Jones. To my mother and father, I want to say thank you. Thank you for pushing me even when I wanted to give up, but not pushing me too hard when you knew I was trying my best. To my sister, I want to say thank you for being like my second mother and for always believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. To Ms. Wassum, I want to say thank you for our daily rants and all the good advice that you gave me. Lastly, to the few friends that I have, I want to say thank you for all the good laughs and amazing memories that we've made. I love and appreciate you all. Studying Mechanical Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin, Noor Khoury. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for being pillars of support, guidance, and showering me with love throughout my life. Zane, you are a ray of sunshine, and I will forever be grateful to have you as my sister. To my two grandmothers and my extended family members living in Bahrain, Jordan, the U.S., Canada, and Dubai, 
I am grateful for all of your support and love you have shown me over the years. And to all my friends both in and outside of school, thank you for the memories I will forever cherish. Attending Curtin University in Australia, Cooper Lawrence. I'd like to thank my parents for pushing me to succeed and helping me with my homework throughout high school. I'd also like to thank my sister for recording this video and doing all my art projects throughout school. And I'd like to thank my friends and my teachers for making Byron School somewhat bearable. And I'd also like to thank Corona for screwing up my whole senior year. Thank you. Studying Marine Science and Sustainability at Murdoch University, Tiani Lawrence. Thank you to my awesome parents. Uh, you guys are my drive and have always been there for me. Thank you to all of my friends on Discord. Quarantine wouldn't be the same without you and I really miss you guys. Thank you to all of my teachers, especially Mrs. Gunn and Mr. Martin. And thank you to my fellow dormies and dorm parents. Um, each and every one of you have contributed to make this year perfect for me and I really miss you guys. Thank you so much. Joining the United States Air Force, Griffin Lassier Lotson. First of all, I just wanted to thank my parents, my friends, and my all just all of my family, because I got a lot of family, for all the hard work that they've put into trying to help me succeed in life and uh, career-wise and emotionally. So they're all they're always just emotionally there for me uh, to help me throughout all my hardships in life. And uh, I'm really hoping I can return the favor to you guys later in life. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm graduated now, so. Studying computer science at the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts, Jude Lynch. Whoa, hey guys. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I wanna thank uh, the teachers for giving me this cool costume. I also, I also wanna thank my parents because they forced me to do my homework when I want, didn't want to but they made me do it anyways and I got pretty good grades. They gave me this cool white thing because of that. Um, that's awesome, thank you so much, goodbye. Attending the Culinary Institute of America, Ryan McLeod. Hey mom and dad, just wanted to say thank you for taking care of me for all of these years and supporting me. Uh, I'm really gonna miss you guys when I head off to college and to be honest, I have no idea how I would have gotten here without you guys being there by my side every day and teaching me everything that I know. Thank you and love you guys. Studying early childhood education at the University of West Georgia, Morgan Meter. First off, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my sister as well as the rest of my family for supporting me along my high school journey. I'd also like to thank all my friends who have been here with me along the way, helping me create wonderful memories that I'll definitely cherish forever. And I'd like to thank everyone at school for being so nice and kind and helping me make my senior year the best year possible. Attending Taylor's University in Malaysia, Ama Mustafa. Being a student graduating from the class of 2020 is not like anything I could ever imagine. However, through it all, I would like to thank my parents for supporting me throughout my educational career and providing me with everything I've ever needed. Secondly, I would like to thank my teachers and my mentors for being a part of my growth as a person and for providing me with all the knowledge that I need to carry on into my future. And lastly, I would like to thank my friends and family for ensuring that I have fun during all the hard times. Thank you. Studying Medical Laboratory Sciences at the University of Washington School of Medicine, Caitlin Muth. I want to thank my mom and dad for encouraging me to work hard academically and to thank my teachers for challenging and encouraging me to do my best. Thank you, Kira and all of my friends, Haley, Amina, Diego, and so many more who were there for me and helped me expand my interests. I would not be who I am today without all of you, and I hope for the absolute best for everyone. Go class of 2020! Attending Metropolitan State University in Denver, Maya Nabulsi. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for always pushing me and believing I could make it this far. I'd also like to thank my teachers for pushing me academically and also making me strive to get better grades and just be the best version of myself. I'd also like to thank my friends for helping me through tough times and I'd like to thank you all for influencing the person that you see today. Attending Kingsborough College in New York City, Jasmine Osman. 
Thank you to all the friends and family who supported me. I wouldn't have made it this far without you. Thank you to all the faculty and teachers who are motivating and understanding. Thank you to The Bratz Movie, Barbie, and Nicki Minaj for making me the baddie that I am today. Thank you to The Killers for writing Mr. Brightside. And in the words of Snoop Dogg, I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for taking no days off. I want to thank me for never quitting. Attending university in Korea, Jun Pang. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me graduate high school. Studying Information Systems Management at the University of Maryland Global Campus, Tucker Pullen. I'd like to say thank you to my parents and to all of my friends and teachers who have helped me through four different transitions to four different high schools, from Florida to Texas to Guam to Bahrain. I couldn't have done it without you all. Thank you. Taking a gap year, Talon Ridling. I would like to thank my mom and dad for always motivating me to finish my senior year strong and for loving me. I would also like to thank my family, my teachers, and everybody else that has given me support and advice to finish my senior year strong, and also making it one of the most memorable years of my life, especially during this time of crisis. Taking a gap year to work and travel, Ernesto Rivera. I'd like to thank my friends from back in Virginia and here in Bahrain for all the friendships and great memories we've had together. I'd also like to thank my mom, dad, brother, and sister for all the support they have given me and for all the travels and adventures we've experienced together. Thank you. Studying economics and Spanish at the University of Aberdeen, Joe Robertson. Throughout the last four years of school, I made some great memories and overcame many obstacles, although it would not have been possible without the support from my mom and dad who always motivate me, as well as my brother who is always there when I need help. I'm very thankful for all my classmates and teachers, and I'd like to especially thank the dormitory staff for taking great care of me and waking me up in the morning. Finally, I'd like to say that I'm very grateful for all my friends, both in school and in dorms, who have made this time so memorable for me. Studying English and Theater at Brown University, Haley Rowe. Hi, thanks to Caitlin, to Diego, to Amina for just being the most incredible friends this year. Thanks to Ms. Gunn, Mr. Gunn, Mr. Martin, and all my other teachers for supporting me just throughout my entire high school career. And thank you so much to my parents and to my sister. I love you guys so much. Studying media and communications at the University of Winchester, Melon Russell. I'd like to thank my encouraging parents, my supportive teachers, my amazing friends, and my fellow dormies for being by my side throughout high school. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you. Studying early childhood education at Seneca College, Amina Safe. Thank you so much, all of my teachers, for seeing me as a partner in learning and sharing. Thank you for being one of the few greatest teachers out there. May you inspire others to achieve the greatness you have. Dear Mom and Dad, it seems like it was just yesterday that we were driving over to Bahrain School for my sophomore year. Thank you for always supporting me and being there for me over the years. You both have you both have fostered confidence and passion in me to work hard and pursue my dreams with no boundaries. I am so lucky to have you both. Pursuing mechanical engineering at Staffordshire University, Salim Salu. Hey guys, it sucks we weren't able to be together for graduation, but I would still like to take a moment to express my gratitude to those who got me to this point. Thank you to my parents who have always been there for me since the beginning and I know I can always count on. Thank you to my teachers and mentors who helped me develop a love for learning that led to my success in academics. And finally, thank you to my friends who made every day at Bahrain School so much better. Without you guys, I never would have made it. Attending Community College, Mark Sanchegren Jr. I would like to first and foremost thank my parents who have encouraged me through all the hard times and have helped me get through school whenever I've struggled. I would like to thank my teachers who have always had my back, especially Mr. and Mrs. Gunn. I would like to thank my best friend for always supporting me. And I would like to thank anyone else who's helped me get through high school. And it's meant a lot. Thank you. Studying computer science at Algoma University, Mohammed Satra. I want to thank my siblings for supporting me and getting me ready for the future. Uh, I want to thank my friends and especially dorms for getting me ready for university and supporting me through my uh, high school career. 
Uh, I want to also thank my counselor and all, for, all my teachers for all the support they have given me. Joining the United States Air Force, Kennedy Renee Sawyer. First and foremost, I want to thank God, my grandma, grandpa, t Debs, and especially my mother for raising me to be the strong, independent black woman I am today. I also want to thank my friends across the world and here at Bahrain School for giving me the best high school experience. Thank you to all the teachers here for an amazing senior year. Attending the University of Maryland, Chase Smith. I'd like to thank both my parents, uh, my mom and dad. Um, they really pushed me through this year and um, throughout my high school career. And without that push, um, I probably would have just procrastinated. But um, they, really, they really helped me out. And um, both of them just really encouraged me, gave me a lot of the uh, motivation I needed. And um, I love them both, and they really helped me. Studying forensic sociology at the University of Idaho, Grace Smith. Throughout my education, I've had endless support from my friends, family, and teachers. I'd first like to thank my parents for providing me the opportunities to be successful and loving me unconditionally. My sisters, of course, being my major motivators, trying to keep up with you all these years. I love you both more than you will ever know. Lastly, my friends, for making my senior year nothing but memorable and amazing. I will never forget the impact you had on my life. Thank you all. Majoring in environmental engineering at the University of Idaho, Lily Smith. Thank you, Dad, Mom, and Charlie for the constant support and being my rock. I know we've been a handful, but you've made it work. Thank you to Grace, for being my second half and lifelong friend. You have been there for the ups and downs. Thank you to my teammates and friends for the fun times and traveling memories. You have made these years worthwhile. Thank you to my teachers, coaches, and mentors for pushing me to be the best I can be. And lastly, thank you to the class of 2020 for sticking together. Attending the University of Texas at Austin, Tofumi Shadendi. Thank you, mom and dad, for constantly being there for me throughout my high school career. I wouldn't have gotten this far without your guys' love and support. I also want to thank my brother Tommy for always being there for me and for always knowing how to make me laugh, even in tough situations. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Studying in the University of South Carolina's College of Engineering and Computing program, Ali Tehrani. I'd like to thank my family my mom, my dad, my grandma, my sister, for their continuous support throughout this year. Studying medicine at the International Medical University, Alec Wirasandera. Thank you so much to my lovely parents because you have always been there for me and supported me throughout IB and high school. Thank you so much to my IB cohort and friends because even when the days were very mundane and dull, you have always added so much laughter and smiles to my day and I can't thank you enough. Studying business at Baylor University, Jessica Way. I'd like to thank my parents for always motivating and supporting me throughout these past years. I wouldn't have been able to get by and get work done without being reminded not to put too much pressure on myself. I'd also like to thank my friends for always being there for me and making these years memorable. Attending Lee University in Cleveland, Tennessee, Carmen Wells. I love you, Mom and Dad. I'm thankful to have had so much favor in school, and I know it was because you and I prayed and God answered. I'd like to thank my siblings, Caleb, Keenan, Cameron, and Claire, for making life fun and teaching me to be a leader. I love each of you very much. I'd also like to thank my family back home for loving on us and guiding my steps towards the future I will pursue in the States. Thank you to Rivers of Joy for being a constant source of joy and love. I appreciate each of the leaders who made a great impact on my life. And finally, thank you to all of the teachers who gave so freely of themselves and made today such a special day. Moving to Italy, Alejandro Whitrock Fernandez. Hallo Mutter, hallo Vater. I will euch sagen viele Dank für alles. Y que coño, coño, que yo no voy a hablar alemán, que voy a dejarle el alemán, que es el Lucas, hablarlo en alemán, como Dios manda. Mira, al grano, que quiero deciros que muchas gracias por todo y que quiero decir que muchas gracias por forzarme en hacer clases difíciles y quiero decir a Mr. y Mrs. Gunn por ser los mejores profesores que yo he tenido en Bahrain School. Un beso. Majoring in film at Temple University, Cameron Young. Despite the senior year being the most wildest years I've ever experienced, I would like to thank the following people for having such a big impact and cheering me on throughout these years. First, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for always supporting and motivating me no matter what. 
I'd also like to thank my brother for always being there for me and being my biggest advocate and my best friend. I'd also like to thank my friends here for always cheering me on and making me laugh, especially going through everything that we had to go through in school. I love you guys. Majoring in culinary management at Taylor's University, Iman Zukofli. I would like to say thank you to my family, especially my parents, Mama and Abba Shimakase, for being such encouraging and supportive parents I could ever ask for. for. For over the years, you've been giving me insightful values and perspectives in life, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. AT, dormy family, friends, and supporters, thank you so much for giving me the opportunities to become a better person and giving me everlasting memories. Thank you so much. I love you guys. It is my great honor and privilege to congratulate the Bahrain School Class of 2020. I'd like to take one last opportunity to thank Captain Greg Smith for being here with us to celebrate such a special moment in the lives of the Bahrain School Class of 2020. Bahrain School Class of 2020. On behalf of the Department of Defense Education Activity and its director, Mr. Thomas Brady, the Department of Defense Europe Area and its director, Dr. Dale McMullen, along with the Europe South District and its superintendent, Dr. Michelle Howard Berhaney, I have reviewed and certified your official school transcripts and now have the honor and privilege to announce that you, as members of the class of 2020, are now graduates of Bahrain Middle High School. Here's your diploma.
Bahrain School Class of 2020, it's Phil Lewis, Mr. Mosby, from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and The Sweet Life on Deck. Congratulations on your graduation. I think that is fantastic. Now I know the Bahrain School Class of 2020 is going to go on and do great, great things in your next endeavor. And I understand that the end of the year is not quite what you expected. You didn't get to say goodbye to your friends. You had to do the homeschooling thing. I get it. But we're going to get through this if we get through it together. And we're going to get through it one day at a time. And I know that the Bahrain School Class of 2020 is going to be at the forefront of that because you know how to take care of each other. So very proud. Oh, I, I hope that I don't see any of you hooligans uh, running in my hotel. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to reprimand you. But Bahrain School Class of 2020, enjoy your summer, and I hope you will always remember no running in my lobby.